What's going on YouTube and welcome back to this channel and for today's video you will learn how to do the jump rope shuffle. Let's go! What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel for fitness life and good vibes and for today's video I'll try to teach you how to do the jump rope shuffle or the shuffle itself okay. So before that guys if you haven't then consider to subscribe to the channel for more fitness life and good vibes videos And also I'd really appreciate if you support the channel by ordering these merch link down below and also the rope that I use link down below as well All right, and I hope you learned something from this one and if you do hit the like and also subscribe as well all right so with that everything out of the way let's get to the video boom now before we go to the trick let me just quickly talk about the rope details for the type of rope i suggest to use the rope that you are comfortable with if you're a beginner then try to use a rope that has some weight on it like what i use minimum of a 5 mm pvc rope now for the length, I suggest to go a little below the chest area or if you are comfortable with the chest area, it's okay as well. Now let's talk about what tricks do you have to learn first before doing this trick. First and foremost guys, you have to learn the regular bounce. If you don't know how to do this trick, I have a video of how to jump rope for beginners. I will link it in the upper right corner of this video right now. Now the next trick that you would want to learn is the run in place or the high knees as you can see in the video. Now the reason why we want to learn the high knees or the run in place is because it's basically practicing the half or the first part of the shuffle itself, alright? And now let's go to the drills that I did, I used to get to the shuffle. Now this drill is what I call the half shuffle because you're basically doing the shuffle but you're not completing it yet. As you can see in the video, from the regular bounce, you will go to a run in place position. Then the other foot will jump as your leg goes up and then jump again as your leg goes down. Think of it as you're doing a march but inserting a jump in between each movement. Again, as you put your right leg up or your left leg up, you have a small jump with the other leg and then as you put it down, you have a small jump again and then you put up the other one and have a small jump with the other foot again. It's important to be patient with this guys, especially for those who are not used to dancing or not used to any footwork in their uh, exercises before or in their sports before. Now do this drill guys without the rope and then try to get into the rhythm of it. Most of the time the reason why people have a hard time getting this trick is because they haven't got into a rhythm first. So be sure to practice this without the rope. So my personal beat or rhythm for this one is a tap 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 So I just think about that every time I do this trick and every time I practice this trick so that I won't get lost into my feet. Now after practicing the half shuffle or the drill, let us now get into the actual shuffle but again without the rope first. So after you've done the drill or the half shuffle, the full shuffle is just stretching your other leg to the back as you jump or to your back. So instead of just jumping vertically as your one leg goes up, you will stretch your other foot to the back now when you're doing the shuffle. So at first guys, you can exaggerate the movement. As you can see, I exaggerate the stretching of the other foot. But as you progress, as you get better, you can minimize the movement and be slicker with it and eventually looking effortless. Now that you're comfortable with the movement, now let's try to add the ropes. So in my opinion, the best way to teach you this trick on video is through slow motion. As you can see, when one leg goes up, the other one jumps with it. And as the leg go down, the other one jumps as well with it. Again, it's simultaneous guys, alright? So that's why it looks so fluid because sabay talaga yung pagtalon at yung pagangat ng leg, alright? Alright? 
So another tip guys is to lower your arm a little bit when you're doing a footwork tricks because it, this will avoid tripping. So normally when we do footwork tricks, our feet occupy a bigger space than other tricks. So it will help you if you lower down your arms just a little bit. Basically you're making the rope a little longer. To make this trick a little cooler, instead of just landing on the back, try to land across your leg as you can see in the video. So it looks like a little bit more of a dance na. So that is it guys. As you notice, this video is not a usual edit for me because this trick does not have any secret tip with it so you just have to try it out and feel the rhythm and the timing that is why if you notice I focused on the drills because if you can nail those drills then you can execute this trick in no time guys so again guys the key here is to relax Feel the beat and practice, practice, practice. So that was it guys, I hope you learned something from that video and the jump rope shuffle is a very fun trick to do and also it really looks good especially with the right music. Alright guys, so thank you guys for watching and if you haven't then consider to subscribe and if you found value in this video, leave a like and also a comment down below what you think about this video and what tricks do you want to learn next, alright? So thank you guys for watching, peace out and I'll see you guys on the next one, peace!